Experts now say that anyone who has a couple of thousand dollars for a 3D printer and an internet connection can make a 3D gun, which will be invisible to X-ray machines and metal detectors. In the U.S., critics of the technology are warning it has reached a dangerous point, with federal law banning undetectable firearms set to expire in less than two weeks. Artis Marina Portnaya found out what it takes to print a gun. Red's shooting range in Austin, Texas is normally packed with gun enthusiasts. Today, the difference is that these men are firing rounds with a do-it-yourself firearm, the world's first 3D printed metal gun. We wanted to showcase the abilities of what direct metal can do and what a better way than find something that uh, can withstand a bunch of heat, uh, tolerance, accuracy, all wrapped into one which in America everybody knows, which is a firearm. Eric Mutchler is a project coordinator at Solid Concepts, a company specializing in 3D printing. Yeah, any prints or anything? RT was granted an exclusive tour of their Austin facility, which boasts 10 3D industrial printers and a glimpse of our technological future. These are all the 3D printed parts that uh, went into making this firearm. After getting a federal firearms license, the company used a process called direct metal laser sintering to produce this Browning 1911 pistol. It takes about 25 to 35 hours, depending on the machine we put it on and what materials we're running. The 3D printed metal gun has fired over 1,000 rounds. In the meantime, Solid Concepts has manufactured its second 1911 firearm. We plan on making a few more prototypes for additional testing. Uh, you know, we don't we don't plan on going into full production on these. We couldn't afford to sell them uh, at the price that would be required to get our money back. While the prices of many 3D printers have fallen below $1,000, Solid Concepts insists the stainless steel firearm they've introduced to the world can't be replicated by hobbyists. These machines start at $600,000 and go up to a million dollars. Uh, they need to be in industrial environments. They require more electricity than is available in residential areas. And they require inert gases in the chamber that are just not commonly available. So it's definitely an industrial commercial type process. And it'll be years before metal uh, printers become available on the consumer market, if at all. Not exactly. The world's first mini metal maker has already been created. It prints using precious metal clay. And with laser sintering patents set to expire in February, it's predicted that metal desktop printers will hit the consumer market before you know it. Five years from now, small business can do it. Maybe five years after that, you start talking about home workshops and, uh, and um, you know, having one on your desktop at home. So the, we are going there. The technology exists. The price will come down. As the world has learned, the convenience of technology has a downside. We all loved the internet, cell phones, email, and social media before finding out that our beloved data is being monitored and stored by the NSA. The astonishing capabilities of 3D metal printers is no longer a secret. So when they become a part of our household tech alongside the microwave and flat screen TV, what people choose to physically create in the privacy of their home will be beyond the control of the U.S. government. Marina Portnaya, RT, Texas.